Hi everybody, it's Corey from Thought Soldiers. And this is Samantha from SamanthaRodriguezBlog.com. How's everyone doing today? So we wanted to come on and discuss about the new energies that have arrived. Um, the, noticing the shift in how we've definitely arrived at New Earth now. Um, and with the way that these codes are being anchored in and these grids are being anchored in, how fast it is in order to clear. Um, the clearing processes we know before used to take years, um, months, weeks, intensive yes. intensive shadow work, and now it's at yes. the point where it's just, you want that gone, it's gone. So mm -hmm. we wanted to come on in to talk about that. And uh, I know Samantha's got some good stories about things recently and shifts that she's been going through and, and how those are working for her, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, well, funny, what I was just talking to Corey, um, I just shared with him uh, that I had been intuitively getting new um, visuals, new new healing techniques, healing modalities um, that I was kind of playing around with. And for those of you, or if I've ever mentioned it, I'm, I'm very visual. I, I see, um, I'm, I, I am clairvoyant. But when I when I'm in in the meditation, like I see all these things, and I'm I'm very very visual, and so a lot of new visuals and a lot of new ideas and new awarenesses have been coming through. Um, that I I have been kind of playing kind of on my own, and so um, last week um, Corey sent me an email um, on this meditation, and we both of us just saw it. Actually, no, I saw it first, mm -hmm. um, and then we, and then I saw it with him again, and it basically had some of the new techniques and new visuals, the new imagery that I had been tuning into, um, and lo and behold, that has a lot of quantum healing, quantum clearing um, codes embedded in that I. I hadn't kind of like tapped it like I didn't I didn't realize that it was quantum so when we talk about quantum it's like you are going into the smallest of the smallest energetic particles and shifting it through shifting it from from that space um, and so it is like literally diving through getting to the the deep deep root of the the block the distortion and clearing it like instantly literally instantly and so like he said we have been shifting for for this has been for years mm -hmm. so like if I think about um, some some of my the people that I follow some of the healers, healers that I follow it took them years and they say like it took me years to like integrate and embody and like clear all this stuff mm -hmm. um, but now things are shifting so kind of after 2012 we shifted right completely different um, energy, completely different world. And so right now we're, we're going through major, major changes, major, major shifts, literally just tune into what's going on around you, what's going on in the news, um, your own personal, my personal life, my job, it's like things are like really have literally done a 180. Mm -hmm. It's been it's it's been just kind of fascinating to see. Um, a lot of people are shifting. A lot of people are, um, you know, deciding not you know not to be here anymore. So there's a lot going on, and with that, all of these energies that are coming through are helping us shift faster. Are helping us clear faster. Where like Corey said, it doesn't have to take the the years, the or even months. months. Like it's it's fast. It's like weeks days literally seconds mm -hmm. um and so we are shifting in sh shifting out of that um kind of painful even sometimes painful and like yeah. discomfort and like uh, uh, um i guess quote unquote the suffering part yes the suffering aspect is now gone mm -hmm. um as like you know in, in intensive psychotherapy and like reliving traumas over and over mm -hmm. scripting um the shadow work that i used to do diving into my shadow where i was locked there for mm -hmm. weeks before i finally had my breakthrough moment we're noticing now because yeah. of us all doing our collective work and the energies that have arise that now that suffering cycle um seems to be going away almost instantaneously and this mm -hmm. is where we're finding a lot of older healing modalities that are now out of date when we were working in the 3d and 4d um, now we don't have to 
dive as deep, um, you know, and, and, and it used to, her, to, to, to be so bold, her healing modality used to really piss me off. Yes, I'll admit that on air. It pissed me off. Here's why. My shadow work for the longest time was, okay, we want to get to the root of the issue. Let's start at the top and let's slowly take a shovel and let's slowly unbury everything. And I was actually in a discussion um, with Tyler with mm -hmm. discussions of the divine masculine. Him and I talked about that. Like her style of how it was, was let's just, let's laser point the belief. Let's pull it out and let's rip it out there. And it's in, but this is the evolution of things is that the way the energetics are working now, we must evolve as we are, our energy bodies are coming online. We're learning about our auric field. We're learning on how to work with these energies. Now, as we are opening up and activating, it's easier to slide this stuff out. So as mm -hmm. you know, a discussion I had with someone, um, earlier this week, transmutation is now at the window and we're now looking at the transfiguring process, which is just simply mm -hmm. quick removal, like no longer taking this in, feeling it. Um, grueling with it. It's like the, the knowing where it came from, where it came from. Do we need to know? You know, do we need to know or do we just want it to leave our field? And that's where mm -hmm. this is where we're, we're shifting. We're shifting is we don't need to, you know, for, for our karmic understanding and our cycles that we in patterns we're trying to break, there are some beliefs and there are some things that we need to know so it can stop that cycle from occurring. And this is where we can tune in. And if we're, if we're noticing a block or a belief, we can go, mm -hmm. Do I need to know more about this? Do I need to know why this exists? And your higher self will tell you yes or no. And if so, then maybe you gotta dive a little deeper and understand why that pattern exists in order to break it. Mm -hmm. But there's some details we just don't need to know now. We can just, mm -hmm. we can shift that out of our field, mm -hmm. wipe it clean, work the energies that are here on right. earth mm -hmm. to paint the strength in our field. Mm -hmm. And keep moving forward. We don't need to let those distortions in. Right, and one of the things for, so thanks for being bold and honest. <laughs> wait till wait till we finish this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um So this will be our last video together. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, going back to what he said, <clears throat> it doesn't and and I actually just remembered someone else, so a new <clears throat> not a new, um another uh kind of healer um in the Spiritual, you know, spiritual, spiritual community had said that, and I, and I, I remember clearly when she said, "We don't need to, you know, suffer. We don't need to go and like dig deep and like open up all the wounds and like feel them again, um, necessarily. Like, if you want rapid change, rapid transformation, it's it's a choice, mm -hmm. and you can choose that, and you can essentially, um, you can." collectively kind of tap into because most of the time it's not just one event mm -hmm. that's a block like the, the the block the belief ties into a series of events mm -hmm. that have happened in a series of past lives mm -hmm. and for those of you mo most of I, I'll say most if not all people um, I'll say most because there are people that this is our first incarnation, but most people um, have lived here before. Um, and a lot of people are old souls. I'm an old soul. I've lived here many, many, many times before. And so going back, you know, clearing blocks, um, kind of tapping into like each kind of lifetime, one at a time. It takes time <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's it's a process and it's it's long and and so forth but now we're tapping into the energy where we can kind of collectively <clears throat> and this is what I've you know been been tapping into this new modality where you can collectively tap into all of them at once clear it um, bring in the energy that is going to allow you to be a complete peace in complete gratitude in complete love towards whatever it is that happened so that you can essentially clear that distortion that block that old paradigm that old belief that has kept you stuck that has kept you running the old patterns the old mm -hmm. timelines um, and so it's really really neat it's really neat to, to know that you can literally cle clear the slate from hundreds if not thousands and millions of years mm -hmm. of you know karma of, of karmic dead of timelines of patterns of suffering of all of these things like that 
Well, and it's also too as we start to arrive in 5D plus um, life on earth and you fully embody you fully anchored it in and you've made it to 5d plus which mm -hmm. if you have by the way congratulations it is not an easy feat to get to 5d um but we're here and so because of that we can now um detach from those beliefs ancestral karma we can we can detach from from personal karma we can start to detach from these programs these structures that kept us locked into an idea and even the ascension timeline has kind of kept us locked into a very limited way of working when we were working in 3D and 4D, and I will admit that. It was very limited, and once you realize that is running its own program, the light worker journey is running its own program, uh -huh. um, and you realize that when you start to ascend in your density, that you can get to a point where you detach from all that program, and now you can just shift things out. And right now, with the way everything's been working, timelines are collapsing at a faster rate as well. So once, once you start to collapse those timelines and clear it out, think, uh, think of this in, um, in your field of vision, is that if you've got five timelines that are, that are stacked up in front of you and you clear out four of them, your highest timeline is now your lowest timeline. Mm. And so now you're now ushering in higher timelines and then mm. we're gonna be able to ascend faster and faster, which means that we're gonna see a lot more success in people. Um, people are gonna be healing a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna notice complete shifts in um, people's mm. personal lives. We're gonna mm. see their relationships mm. improve, connections improve, and this is something that her and I have done. We've done clearing sessions on family members and things like that and mm. we've watched in a matter of days our lives completely change. Um, so through, you know, us testing this uh, on ourselves and, and in our interpersonal relationships, we're able to confidently say that this has really changed the level of healing. And this has been around for a while. Um, it's just now that we all are starting to access it more as our energy bodies and these codes are coming online. And we're really starting to see more confirmation that this really does exist. And we no longer have to live in that old mm -hmm. paradigm, that old way of suffering. And this is... You know, to admit that that um, I didn't like her healing modality was because I was still running a programming where I like hard work and it's this kind of like, mm. you know, it, you know, hard, hard work means that I come home at the end of the day, you know, like a, like a construction worker, you know, mm. busting my butt. Um, but do I need to do that? No, I don't because it's at a, an expense of my energy body. It's at an expense mm -hmm. of my emotional body. Um, mm -hmm. It's at a, a grave expense to my relationships because a lot of people had to sit there. Mm and watch me suffer for weeks at a time, days at a time, while I'm sitting there and I'm grueling through my process. And there is an easier, softer way. Um, and so we kind of want to provide that hope that this level of healing that's been around, but we're, we're personally tapping into and testing out, we're seeing now that it's just, it's rapid. And the shifts are ginormous. And it's not like externally everything shifts immediately. It's definitely more internal. Um, I've noticed a huge shift in upgrading me over the past week and I've seen it um, in Samantha this past weekend and mm -hmm. we're gonna watch the external start to reflect that right, accordingly right. but it's gonna it's gonna happen mm -hmm. it's gonna happen a lot faster um, again it used to take years and months and, and weeks but you're we're gonna start seeing you know just rapid rapid transformation in our physical world and our physical reality mm -hmm. um, and so it, this is if you think about it it's very it's a very normal progression and so um right now we're in Corey was like you know he used to go deep into you know journaling shadow work you know actually getting the shovel and digging and digging and digging um now we have tools like there we have you have um i don't i don't even know what what you call it but essentially we have like for instance you know mm -hmm and writing is amazing by the way but like mm -hmm. if Corey is used to like writing and writing in his journal and now you know we have a laptop <laughs> where mm -hmm. he can get it done much much faster much much quicker um technology is evolving technology has been evolving for a very long time you know we see it in cars and transportation in communication everything has been evolving and so it makes sense that healing modalities and healing techniques are also evolving our energy bodies are evolving and and being yes. able to shift this stuff out extremely quickly is happening as well and and, and that's all, all has to do with how fast the collective is raising up in, in vibration mm -hmm. as well because these energies have been coming in mm -hmm. we've been doing the work so um, it's easier to shift these things out mm -hmm. for not only ourselves but for the collective as well mm -hmm. so. and and the energy that's coming through earth is also very very supportive mm -hmm. it's allowing us to shift faster um all of our guides all of the um, galactics that are helping us do this there's so many now mm -hmm. that are helping us through this process so it's like it's they're very there's many many different um pieces to why this is happening 
and again it, it, it just makes sense um, so um, with that mm -hmm. we are that's on you are you are we are we mm -hmm. ready to mm -hmm. jump on and <laughs> mm -hmm. so um, and and this is something that I we've been wanting we've been wanting and we we know that we well we are we're obviously working together um, but we know that we're gonna be working together more and more and more um, and so we're going to host a, um, a webinar on Wednesday where we're going to be kind of showing you some of these new techniques, some of these new modalities mm -hmm. um, to help you, to help us all shift faster, clear faster, um, you know, kind of get a taste of what this is like, kind of get a taste of what, th how things are evolving, how things are shifting mm -hmm. and, and create massive, massive change, massive transformation, massive upgrade um, in all areas of our lives. And what's really neat too is the fact that um, instead of just one worker doing all, pulling all the weight energetically, you've got two people um, that are, we have two different roles while we were doing this. And so I'll be playing my role, she'll be playing her role. And the collective thing as well, we found both through doing group sessions with my group Reiki sessions and her group clearing sessions, that we found that there's this interesting dynamic with a collective of individuals and all of our energy bodies working together towards shifting this stuff out faster. Um, we're noticing a huge change and, and we're mm -hmm. excited to be able to offer the opportunity for you know, both of us to offer our energy towards being able to shift these things out quickly. Um, and I think it's extremely powerful, especially since we're both workers and we've both been working so hard on our, on our energy bodies. It's going to be um, a very interesting experience, something we've been trying this entire weekend with ourselves. Um, yeah. um, and it's been, it's been interesting. It's something that I started working on, um, a little while ago. It's, but it's, mm -hmm. it's more evolved now. So I'm really excited to be able to offer this opportunity to everyone. And yes. Get people in. Yes. So. so, um, it's part of our mission. It's part of our purpose to share, um, to share what's, what's happening, how we're just shifting and, and just using, I guess, again, the tools that we've been picking up, the tools that are um, being used mm -hmm. by um, other kind of high-level healers but you obviously you know obviously in their own way um, again similar but everybody has their unique way um, so we want to share that with you we want to share this rapid transformation that again we've been also um, experiencing um, and again, it's it's all energetic first. Everything at a, everything is energy, and so before you start seeing changes, um, physical changes, you have to see them. You have to. It has to be. Um, it has to come from your energy, your energetic body, um, your emotional body, and so that's what we're going to be tapping into, so that you can completely clear the slate, and and then you know. Cr start essentially getting your power back to where you're creating that you are the master builder that is creating your world creating your reality mm -hmm. it's very intentional very intentional very fast very um i'll say service oriented love based oriented because that is also what we're shifting we're shifting mm -hmm. to a more um service collective community base it's not so much individual i want i want i want i want just for me just for me just for me yes. we're completely shifting into that the manifestation um that has been working we you know um in people that kind of been you know in that mindset are not going to be working anymore they're not going to be working um I'll say maybe as easily as they were in the past there everything is shifting and so we're all collectively mm -hmm. um, being more love based more community more service based mm -hmm. for the ascension of the collective for the ascension of Gaia mm -hmm. um, and so this is our opportunity to and essentially I mean that is what really truly aligns your soul and aligns you to pure bliss and happiness and abundance you being living out your purpose living out your mission and living out um what you intentionally came here to do which is break all of these old paradigms and, and collapse all of these timelines for a new abundant amazing blissful earth um and so 
um, on Wednesday, um, Wednesday, this Wednesday coming up at 8 p.m. Central Center Time, we're going to be offering um, kind of a sneak peek of these new techniques and modalities that we've been diving into. Um, and so we're gonna put the link mm -hmm. in the description, description box below uh, for you guys to join us. Again, completely free, so spread the word. Um, Come, come early because we do have limited seating right now. Yeah, so I think um, we cap at 25 and so, um, yeah. you know, it's first come first serve. Mm -hmm. So if you don't show up, please do not send us an email going, I didn't show up, can I please get the free <laughs> modality? Um, it's first come first serve um, and, and we're really excited to be able to share this and there will be more opportunities yes. possibly in the future, but yes. for right now we've got one time limited availability. Yeah, so. Anything what, else? Anything else? No. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> excited to be to be working with this and you know the idea is is that it's time to completely wipe away our canvas let's start with a blank canvas and let's build out let's build out on our template service-based love-based compassionate based unified uh, no separation and um, let's go about it and a lot what's really neat about this too is that it does teach with the codes that we are that we are pulling in mm -hmm. it's going to teach a level of mindfulness where you're going to be aware of when a distortion or when something comes up in your field and clear it immediately so what's really neat is that it's it's gonna wipe, as we've noticed, mm -hmm. things get wiped clean, but it can creep back in. Um, and so what's really neat is we're, we're, we're wiping the canvas clean, but we also choose a level of mindfulness and awareness that these patterns can start to pop back up and when to see it and when to exterminate it immediately so it doesn't have to sit there and it doesn't have to play out in this very long, drawn out karmic cycle that we've all dealt with numerous times mm -hmm. where it just keeps getting passed on to new people, so. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, we will see you on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Center, Central Standard Time. I'm used to Pacific Standard Time, so <laughs> nice shift. Anyways, much love and respect to everybody out in the Weberverse, and we will see you on the other side. Bye, guys. Bye. Namaste. <laughs>